Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for Grade 4, Chapter 3, Lesson 5, Multiplication Properties and Division Rules. Page number is 161. Guys, in this lesson, we have three multiplication properties and two division rules here on the next page. Okay. So we'll start with the multiplication properties. See these guys first. The first one, commutative property of multiplication. It's just like the commutative property of addition we took in chapter 2, I think. Okay, so if you multiply 4 times 2 or you multiply 2 times 4, it will give you 8. The same thing. Here you have an example also. If you multiply 2 times 3 or 3 times 2, you will get the same answer. So commutative property is saying that you can switch the numbers while multiplying them, two factors, okay, you can switch them and you will get the same answer. When multiplying, the order of the factors does not change the product. So when you switch the numbers, it will give you the same answer, okay. Identity property of multiplication, this states that any number multiplied by one will give you the same number. Again guys, any number multiplied by 1 gives you the same number. This is identity property of multiplication. Now the last one, zero property of multiplication. Any number times 0 is equal to 0. 3 times 0 is equal to 0. 100 times 0 equals to 0. Okay, let us move to the next page. Now we have two division rules. The first one is zeros in division, which states zero divided by any number is equal to zero. Zero divided by five or 10 or 100 or 1 million, whatever the number, the result is zero always. If you have zero first, guys, okay? If you are dividing any number with zero, that is a different case. So zero divided by any number is zero. Like you have zero chocolates and you want to divide it into five uh, boys so each one will get zero okay and the next division rule once in division any number divide by one equals to seven so if you have seven something seven and you're dividing it on a single person so he will get all result is seven any number divide by one equals the same number okay and the other thing 4 divide 4 equals 1. Any number divided by the same number equals 1. So these two are ones in division. Like if you have 4 chocolates and you are dividing it on 4 kids, so each one will get 1. So any number dividing by the same number equals 1. Okay. Here is an example of uh, ones in division. Any number divided by the same number equals 1. 9 divide 9, 1. There are nine party favors and nine guests. So we divided nine party favors on nine guests. Okay. Now you have to write the name of the properties which we used in these statements. This one, a multiplication. So it is a multiplication property. Zero. So zero property of multiplication. Uh, they are switching the numbers. So commutative property of multiplication. Okay. Guys, here. Uh, it's independent practice. I will show you the answers. You can practice it by yourself and then match the answers. I will show you some questions in this. 6 divide by 1. So it's divide, so and 1, once in division. Here, 1 and divide, once in division. Uh, 0 property of multiplication. It's 0 and divide, so 0 is in division. Uh, identity property of multiplication, switching the numbers, commutative property of multiplication. You have to write the missing number. 3 divide what will give you 1? So it's 3, once in division. You know that on both sides of commutative property you have same numbers. 8 times 4, so this will be 4 times 8. 4 here. Commutative property. Uh, what times 1 equals 15? Of course, 15 times 1 equals 15. 
and what divide 11 equals 0 so 0 0 is in division and identity property of multiplication let us move to the next page here on a hiking trip Tamika and Brian hiked seven miles a day they hiked for five days okay seven miles a day and hiked for five days seven times five now we are using commutative property in this Kurt and Sadi hiked five miles a day how many days did it take Kurt and Sadi to hike the same distance as Tamika and Brian write a number sentence to solve now the result is same for them so we know that the number should be same and we just switch them so Tamika and Brian they hiked for seven miles and five days and they hiked for five miles and seven days so seven times five and five times seven so seven days this one total 35 hours okay there are six shelves in the library that each have eight books so total how many books six times eight 48 books if we want to use the commutative property so we'll write 8 times 6 equals 48 how would you describe the identity property of multiplication you use an example to show why it makes sense any number multiplied by 1 is itself it will give you the same number if there is one plate of muffins with eight muffins on it so there are total of eight muffins there's just one plate okay uh, write a multiplication problem so here i write a problem you can uh, that uses the commutative property of multiplication to solve okay so here i write a problem you can write your own okay guys so and its answer is also here how do multiplication properties and division rules help you to multiply and divide? Give an example. I can use the properties and rules to help me recall multiplication and division facts. If I know 8 times 3 is 24, then I know 3 times 8 is also equal to 24. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day. I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Learn math with Mr. Saab. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.